just about ready as the last runners go into the starting gate. And they're all in line. They're off in the Godolphin Mile. A slow start there for Law of Peace, who is off about four lengths slower than the competition. It's a good beginning for Isolate, who's sent immediately to the front by Tyler Gafflione. Royal Muse came out running in second position. And right there is Bathrat Leon up and on the pace in third, with Carnelian is fourth to the outside. Then Raib along the rail, four lengths from the front up the back stretch. He got his after that. Then Desert Wisdom is running in between horses. On his inside is ever fast. Discovery Island is next. Farthest out, it is Golden Goal, who's seven lengths behind the leaders as they continue up the back stretch. Prince Aji, Laudicio next, forward to Atletico El Colano. Slow starting, Law of Peace at the rear of the field as they race for the far turn. And it is Isolate in front. It's isolated by a length and a half here. Bathrat Leone, the defending champion, is right there in second. Fellow Japanese runner Wynn Carnelian is moving three wide in third. Discovery Island is fourth, but under a heavy drive. Then comes Raib, and they're coming to the top of the stretch. And Isolate has been there every step of the way. Turning for home with a two-length lead on Bathrat Leone. Wynn Carnelian is third to the outside. The others have work to do, and Isolate to catch. 300 meters to go. Tyler Gaffer Leone going to work on Isolate. They're out there by three. Bathlet Leone is second. And then comes Wynn Carnelian on the outside. But at the 16th pole, it is Isolate. And he is all by himself. Isolate wins the Godolphin Mile running away. And a big run from Law of Peace who came from the back of the pack to get second. Then came Atletico El Colano. So those two came from the rear of the field. But no one was catching Isolate today. They call it wire to wire. Isolate has blitzed them in the Godolphin Mile under an astonishing ride from Tyler Gaffleone. They battled brutally for the lead in the first furlong and a half. But somehow, this horse, Ruby, has found more in the home straight. He has, stepping up in trip. He had the early gears to go with Bathrat, um, with the favourite Bathrat, Leon. And because he was coming up from six furlongs to a mile, he was able to cruise down his inside, Angus. Tyler Gaffleon always looked comfortable. Mm. He was able to get a breather, or a sort of a breather on the bend. Maybe the times will tell us if he did or he didn't. And then he found more down the straight. I thought Richard Mullen has given Law of Peace a really good ride from the back to come and get second place, which was a really good ride. And the green sleeves coming from behind. But look, the winner jumped and made all. And it was that stepping up and trip, that speed you called it beforehand. Yes, yeah, speed at a one turn mile for sprinters is always a very useful tool in the United States of America. And that's what they've done with him. They resisted the temptation, Rishi, to hold him up and give him a chance stepping up in trip. They said, no, you've got pace, you go, you get on with it. And he's made every yard of the running on the rail. That happens so often here in this Godolphin Mile. This winning stall numbers, well, some of them have been high, but most winners over the last five years have made every yard of the running. That's what happened here. Bathrat Leon battling away in second. He eventually gets swamped by the deep closers that take advantage of that strong pace and isolate to be fair he's seen off Bathrat Leon and then kept going yeah he has and the runner up law of peace he was slow from the stalls as well we'll see that now in mm. a few minutes but a really good performance from the winner Doug Watson said it in his interview with Nick beforehand how they were going to ride this horse what they were going to do I just wish we listened a bit more <laughs> well isolated you have both said had the speed had the stamina to last through the race um, fantastic run, as Angus mentioned beforehand, from Law of Peace, picking up the pieces. Bathrat Leon just curled up at the end, but I think he may have held on for fourth. Atletico El Calano, who was drawn out in 14, has also run on, and he's grabbed third. Let's join Nick. Well, Rishi, you can't say you weren't told beforehand. Here's Doug Watson again. How soon into that race did you know that Tyler Gaffleone had these under pressure? Well, I... I wasn't quite sure till he turned in, and it looked like there wasn't much coming at him there. So uh, um, I, I just thought he did a great job getting him out of there, getting a nice pace on for the horse, and uh, um, he stays a mile. He certainly does, and that was the question mark going into this. But you made a point of saying that he was a nice, kind horse. How much did that help him, his temperament? Today? His temperament's unbelievable. And, uh, you know, he's big and long, so you saw the way he broke. He didn't quite just shoot out of there. You have to ride him a little bit, but once he gets into his stride, he's, he's pretty amazing. So uh, I'm just thrilled with it. Thrilled for Sheikh Rashid and uh, uh, the whole team at home. You are very much part of the furniture here in the United Arab Emirates. Just tell everybody for how long you've been a, a big part of racing here. Um, almost 30 years now. Um, 
the, the first World Cup, uh, I was in charge of the ambulance. Thank goodness we didn't have to use it, but uh, uh, it was just kind of a side thing so we could come to racing and watch the first World Cup. And, uh, and then working under Karen McLaughlin for seven, eight years was just uh, like going back to college. And uh, um, we just had great staff for such a long time. And uh, Sheikh Mohammed and uh, the whole Maktoum family has just given us every opportunity. And uh, I'm thrilled to be here and thrilled to do this. When you stand here in this paddock, look up at this magnificent grandstand and see a horse do what he's just done with one of the top American jockeys in the yeah. world on him. Um, how does it make you feel? Um, just I have a lot of pride and I have a lot of pride in what we do, um, uh, the way we handle ourselves, the whole team, and uh, um, you know I'm just thrilled. Like I said, for the owner, for Sheikh Rashid, for buying us this horse over the winter and or, you know pretty much in the late fall, and and then just him coming here and doing what he's done. So um, it's just brilliant. Doug, congratulations. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. So right, that was uh, that was a. <laughs> a moment of pure glee when you came across the line. I could feel that. I think most people here at Made Out could. Just describe the feeling. Uh, it was a lot of fun. It's never thought I'd be here and uh, win my first try. No feeling like it. He was a, well, he's a horse, he's a fine horse. He was a horse with that little bit of stamina, maybe to prove it 1,600 metres, but so much speed. Was it planned well executed for you? Uh, he jumped well and he just got to the lead pretty fairly easy. I uh, slowed him down down the backside and let him kick on down the stretch. And he, he did a tremendous job today. He did. When you came here, just in front of this vast grandstand, the huge crowd, is this the moment you were dreaming of when you were coming over, Tyler? Uh, it's everything I could ever dream of and more. What a start. You've got Gunite a little bit later on. The confidence is going to be very high for you in the Golden Chain. Most definitely. I was really looking forward to him. He's a tremendous horse, and we'll see if we can duplicate it. Tyler, it's great to have you here. Well done. Thank you. Well, everyone in America, in fact, the international scene knows how good Tyler Gaffleone is, and he's just given us a display here at Maidan, aboard Isolate, winner of the Godolphin Mile. You do have to have the horse to execute tactics like that, though, Ruby. You do, but you also have to look at form, look at replays, and decide, well, how are we going to go and beat the winner or beat the favourite, Bathrat Leon? He got it and made it last year and look you got to make plans and that's what Tyler did jumped out Doug Watson told us that's what they were thinking of doing he got down his inside Royal Muse went with him Wing Carloni and came down the outside too but look everyone no one was going to give it to the favorite easy and that's what you got to do when you're riding the opposition I'm looking forward to Angus's analysis of the early sectionals <laughs> in that race um, a little bit later on but Angus a, a brief word on Doug Watson I was winning say, this yeah. race for a third time yeah yeah, he's um, been a, a super trainer out here in Maidan for a number of years now. He's very good with his dirt milers. It's always been a speciality of his, and he's bagged another big race with, with one of them here. He's had a pretty good carnival, not as good as some of the other local trainers, particularly the likes of uh, Fawzi Nass and Musabar Al Maheri. They've done slightly better, but I'd say for this meeting, for this top-class international meeting, for one of the local trainers to bag one of the big prizes is, is a real boost for the meeting. It will mean a lot to that man, Doug Watson, and indeed to the rider, Tyler Gaffleone, your winner of the Godolphin Mile, Isolate, and all the analysis coming up after the break. <laughs>